And it's, it's something uh, it's of a rarity for an individual to have served as a political appointee, both to the uh, W. Bush administration and the Obama administration. And you worked on issues of extremism uh, yeah. in, in both those experiences. How would you compare and, and contrast their different approaches? To the issue of countering violent extremism. To, and, and engagement of, of Muslim communities. Well, so it's a much longer conversation about how presidents think about Islam and Muslims. And there hasn't been a president in the United States, starting with George Washington, that has not been respectful to Islam, has not been respectful to Muslims uh, in our country and around the world, in their in their actions, their, their speeches, in the things that they have done, whether it is reaching out to a community, whether it's how they talk about different things. And, and I know this because when I was special representative, one of the first things that I did was to work with a historian, actually, who had studied at Harvard, her name is Precious Muhammad, to develop a timeline. Uh, to look into how American presidents think about Islam and diplomacy. Uh, so and, Thomas and Jefferson. Those every guys, single president since had, George Washington. And there have been Muslims in the United States since? Since the time of the slaves. Wow. So Islam has been part of this country since the very beginning. Mm.